everybody. I'm absolutely exhausted. Um, reason being, I didn't get any sleep any night. Reason why, I got harassed by people that, that wanted <laughs> um, attention and would go through any means to get it. And, and they got some last night, so I didn't get any sleep. I'm absolutely exhausted. Um, Y'all saw the video under threat. I didn't review it to see if it's the right one, but I think it is. Um, so I'm exhausted, I'm tired. Um, as a matter of trying to get some relaxation, and plus I just like to put on clothes and go somewhere just for no reason. <laughs> um, I went to go see uh, Walt before Mickey. And actually at first when I walked in, I thought it was gonna be pretty boring, but the message I totally got. And it just tells the truth about human nature that people are just messed up. Um, he told the story about how he worked so hard to get his animations out. Um, he was evicted a few times, eaten out of garbage bags. His best friend was, was a mouse. Um, then he got some help from an outside company. And they pretty much stole his uh, work. They stole his copyright. And um, yeah, so it was, you know, it's a testament to human nature and how things really are. And um, yeah, so it kind of gave me a little hope and encouragement because like I said, over the past day, you know, things got really crazy and then you know, my heart was broken once again yesterday by, you know, the situation where, you know, somebody was threatened to do physical harm or damage something and people would say they didn't see anything. So that was very disturbing to me. Um, I was hoping to catch the bus over here, but it looks like the police are out here. So honestly, I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, I see special event buses. But yeah, so that was a testament to that. And also, I don't know if the bus is coming or not, but I guess I'll go down here anyway. It also reminded me of the scene from um, We Are Your Friends, where uh, the guys, they were doing DJ and they weren't getting paid much. And as a matter of fact, in the Walt Disney movie, they weren't getting paid anything at all. They were not getting paid anything at all, and um, just, you know, just all that hard work, and they got nothing out of it. Um, so, for me, for the past few weeks, I've been chilling, <laughs> uh, past two or three weeks, and I've been enjoying it. Um, But now I guess God sees fit that, you know, I get on my grind and I do something else. So I guess this is what I'm gonna have to do. Um, I'm tired of working the same jobs. You know, I don't wanna do that type of work anymore. Speaking of that type of work, that goes back to the movie, We Are Friends, We Are Your Friends or whatever. Um, the guys were doing like real estate telemarketing where they were dealing with foreclosed, they were dealing with foreclosed homes. And what they would do is they would offer to buy the house, give them $10,000 for the houses or $20,000 because they were already foreclosed on and tell them they were going to rent the house back to them. But truth be told, they weren't renting the house back to them. They were just giving them ten, twenty thousand $20,000 for the house and calling a day and then selling the house for like $500,000. So, you know, everything is kind of crooked. You know, I'm tired of telemarketing. <laughs> I don't want to do it anymore. Um, and that's the truth, so, I don't know, um, how do I feel today? It's a nice sunny day. As you can see, I'm really tired because of last night. The way that I actually feel is like summertime when I was about 12 or 13 and, you know, running around the projects. So, that's how it feels right now. Um, when I get back, I'm going to stay dressed for a little while because I want to have me, I want to create a good vibe in my room so um, I'll probably take a nap for a little bit and try to make it where I go straight to sleep for a while <laughs> you know like 
literally go to sleep, put my headphones on, whatever I got to do, go to sleep. And then once I get up, I might have me a cafe night if I'm hungry. Um, nowadays, I eat once a day and I'm okay. And I had like half a sub, some Cheez-Its and some, oh my God, some coconut truffles. It was so good. Um, yeah, the other thing that I wanted to mention was that smiles really are contagious. I'm walking on the street and I wasn't really smiling at anything. I thought about the truffles and I smiled a little bit. And a girl across the street thought I was, she smiled back at me, but I wasn't really smiling at her. But it was a beautiful thing, so, you know, yeah, I appreciate it. So, yeah, I'm really tired. I'm looking for this bus stop. I usually catch it um, way down the other way, but it's too much going on, but there's some type of event going on at the Amway Center or something, so I'm going up this way. So, I do need to find another job. Um, I think the lesson that God wanted me to learn from all of this is that you know, no matter what, to be honest, because dishonesty hurts people. It puts people in a bad situation. And um, with these job things, I've been told to approach things in many different ways. But I know what's right and what's wrong. You know, I can go to these little companies and just be honest and be like, hey, <laughs> my employment history is not so great. I've been doing a lot of telemarketing jobs and that's what it is. Here are my talents and skills. What do you think that I can, that you can use? And let's do it. <laughs> so, I mean, that's really pretty much about it. Um, I don't like wandering like this because I feel tired and I obviously look tired. So I don't like that, but. I mean, that's, that's just going to be what it is. Um, I said I was going to do some coursework. What have I really done? I've done a lot of shopping. <laughs> done a lot of shopping um, during the time that I took off, which is crazy. Um, went to a lot of movies. Did a lot of that. Got a little teeny bit of exercise. And got some cleaning done. So, you know. Um, focus is going to be positive. Um, what I was recording earlier was that, um, or I was starting to blog about it earlier, that you're know, being careful what you take in and what you report because it has a lot of power. So that's the same thing that's true about my life. I noticed that the videos that you guys are watching, you know, when y'all saw the negative one, nobody touched it, but I want to say thank you to the people that you guys. You know, y'all are really trying to watch the positive I appreciate that. Um, and I understand how you feel about the negativity. Because I didn't want to record it. That one, I didn't really, like, me myself record. I re meaning my voice. But I wanted it to be known, you know, what was happening, you know. And so that's it. Not that it's going to make any difference. Like I said, um, police don't do anything. <laughs> but it's just so that it's out there. But what I find is that when you post things like that that are horrific or quote-unquote negative and that type of thing that instead of invigorating people what it does is it binds people it holds people down so I'm gonna try to post things that are positive that are forthcoming and you know just see how it works from there you know um, but I know now most definitely I need to get some sleep I didn't get any sleep at all last night I just couldn't believe that I don't know if y'all got what I was saying but this person and the recording was after they said it like three times and after i spoke to the landlord who's standing right there and was like you know hey do you hear this and he's like oh i don't hear anything and this and these issues were issues that i bought to him previous that you know i didn't trust him i did not want to interact with them these are not my nice type of people and i would like to keep my personal information personal because i told them straight up they scare me <laughs> and that's what it is these are kids though they're young I don't even think they may not even be adult age. Um, so, yeah, so I'm going to post this and because it's that time. Bye.